welcome to the stage, Anna Lebo, startup mentor and host of the Genius Leadership Podcast. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm surprised to see so many of you. I actually thought that Friday. Hey. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Friday morning, the technicians are still waking up. <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, yeah, usually it's actually much empty here on the third day. So kudos to you for being so dedicated to, to learning from our speakers today. So my name is Anna Liebel. I'm going to be your MC up until lunch today. And I'm welcoming you to the Growth Summit stage. Here we are talking to the companies that are on their explosive growth at the moment. I'm so not used to have two things in my hands. I'm usually <laughs> uh, articulating quite a lot, so I feel a bit tied. Anyways, we're going to be talking to a smaller companies in the morning and then larger companies uh, in the afternoon after lunch. But they all are going through this explosive growth right now. It's a very fascinating journey. It's a very stressful one as well. So keep your ears open, your hearts open. Have your notebooks or phones to take notes because they're going to be bringing a lot of golden nuggets there for you to learn. So before we uh, introduce the first guest for today, I want to talk a bit about staying sane on this rocket ship. When you are growing your company, at these explosive rates, how do you stay sane as a founder or co-founder or a leader of that company? Because I work with executives and I see a lot of challenges that are not being addressed. So I want to take this couple of minutes now to give you three tips on how you can take actionable steps as leader to make sure that you are staying in the game. Because the common mistake here is that when the founder is out of the game for health reasons, for example, or stuff like that, then the game is over for the whole company. And that's the last thing I want to any one of you to go through and experience. So let's talk about those three tips that I want to give you. First one, and I know that some of you will hate me because that's what my clients do, uh, is taking quality time for yourself. I don't know how many of you are taking time for yourself for real, like not like be on the treadmill and check your emails at the same time or disconnecting from your work while doing something on the mobile and you're still on the same device where you work, meaning that you're still in the work mode. I don't know how many of you do that. And I, a couple of weeks ago, had this conversation with one of my clients and I told him, I challenged him with the task of having breakfast alone. He has a wife, but they have different schedules, so he usually has breakfast alone. And I was like, put all your devices aside, take your Apple Watch off, and just have breakfast in silence. Maximum have pen and paper next to you. And he literally tell, told me to F off. So I know it's difficult for us entrepreneurs and high achievers and high performers to do that, but it's a very important thing for you to stay sane. So take at least 20 minutes in the beginning, but try to grow it to daily one hour of quality time for yourself to take care of your physical health, mental health, maybe your relationships as well, but that will come to in the third part as well. So that's the first tip for you. Second one is journaling. And I know we're at the tech conference, everyone loves the devices and screens and so on, but really go back to the typical pen and paper, the classics, and get into the habit of trying to write down some things for yourself, about yourself. Talk to yourself on paper like you're the good friend of yourself. Not talk about like, hey, diary, today I've met Anna, today I've been visiting Web Summit and stuff like that. It's not about what you're doing, but it's about how you're feeling, what are you thinking, okay? And I'll just give you an example of uh, uh, Steve Bartlett. Anyone knows him or the Diary of the CEO, the biggest business podcast in Europe, no? So listen to that one, very great conversations. And Steve is launching the diary this month, and that is the device that you actually have as a diary, and it has a lot of AI in the back, so it coaches you back. 
And if the person who's been on the Dragon Dan as the jury, that kind of people, are investing two years in developing a product like that, it means that it's an important habit. And he is saying that, that keeping the diary has been the absolute best thing for his mental health, for his success as entrepreneur, investor, and so on. So take it and try to implement that habit into your life. Maybe it's not daily at the beginning. Maybe it's once a week sitting down on a Friday or a Sunday and just writing down, hey, how am I feeling right now? What would I say to myself with this failure or whatever, the challenge I'm going through, uh, if I would be a friend of mine? Not this inner critic that we all are so good at uh, listening to. No, li think about that friend of yours and what would that pe person t tell you when you're going through a tough moment. Get into the habit of that. Third and last tip is talking to other people. How many here are introverted? Apart from me, I can't have a <laughs> hand raised. Yeah, I see a couple of hands there. So that's the thing. It's sometimes difficult for us to talk, but it's crucial for us to stay sane as entrepreneurs. Why? Because it can be quite lonely, especially if you're on the top, especially if you don't have co-founder, it's difficult to find someone to talk to about the struggles you have. You can go to your investors, you can go to your board. Uh, if you're early uh, stage, maybe people don't get it why you left a su successful career to pursue this dream of building something on your own and so on and so forth. So find that person or that community where you can actually openly and freely talk about how you're feeling. Not how you're doing, again, how are you feeling? It can be a friend, it can be your partner, it can be a fellow founder whom you know who is going through a similar journey or done it before, or it could be a community. There are so many amazing startup communities and if you don't know about them, you can, can't Google, just reach out to me via the uh, Web Summit app and I'll send you some references. There are amazing communities where you can share with people who care about the community. So take those three tips for yourself and really take care of yourself as a founder because without you, your company will not survive, all right?